Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, earlier today we got a new data download on the global side of the game. So, in this video, as always, we are going to be breaking down everything that we got from this data download to give you guys an idea of what to expect in the near future. Now, as always, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the first thing, which is the promo movie for the upcoming LR Golden Frieza. So let me just quickly pause the music. There we go. And enjoy, guys. <laughs> So there you have it. LR Golden Frieza is finally coming to global. A lot of people were um wondering why he was delayed for so long and honestly i don't know but he is officially arriving in about two days from now i will make a pass or pull video for him a little bit later so keep an eye out for that but i will say right now that he is a very very good unit a very good unit so uh there you have it now from there we have uh, of course the assets for the frieza himself this is the ssr there is the tur and that is the LR art. And the release date is January 16th at 6.30 a.m. GMT. Which I believe is about 1.30 a.m. Eastern. But I'm still not fully, uh, you know, I'm not great with the conversion. So let's just say 6.30 a.m. GMT. If you guys want to find out what that is for your time zone, then just type it into Google. And, uh... It'll tell you right so that is the golden frieza we have the awakening and extremes the awakening for the uh strike grandpa gohan so that is the tur and uh, we also have some other free to play extremes the awakenings specifically for the free to play golden frieza and sorbet there are the eza medals and also the extremes the awakening for the uh superhero movie Team Gohan, because uh, you know he's obviously a teenager in that movie, and uh, these are the four EZA medals, and we also have uh, the Grandpa Gohan Extreme Z Awakening medals as well from the new stages of his strike event. From there, we have a couple of World Tournament units available on the 27th. So this is. Hold on, aren't these guys already in the game? Maybe these are their TURs. I'm not 100% sure exactly what's going on here. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. I thought these guys were already on global. The Champa and the Botanks. Okay, either way, uh, we have these guys. We have the uh, three forms of the LR um, Jackie Chun. And that is a new LR or World Tournament LR for global this time around. And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned the time, but it's on the 27th, so we are about two weeks away. So not happening soon, but new World Tournament LR is definitely pretty damn exciting, in my opinion. I might actually, you know, at least get 30 million points for this one, because recently I've been kind of slacking on tournaments. Uh, I'll be honest, like, the last one um, that came to Global, I don't even remember what the reward unit was i just remember like i didn't really care about it and uh i think i maybe got like 10 million points and you know, maybe 15 at most i've i've really been slacking but this time with the new world tournament lr jackie chun i'll definitely try a little bit harder okay so that is the world tournament stuff we have uh oh new stages for quest mode area 29 uh four stages one to four and uh, these are the maps basically, you know, looking exactly the same. Um, well, maybe with minor variances, but basically, you know, just four 
forest maps right there. And we also have uh, the two new stages for the Masked Martial Artist, uh, which is the Grand Gohan event. Uh, this is 8, and this is 9. As you can tell, this is where you get the uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals. And then we have uh, Extreme Z Area, Universe's Most Wicked Bloodline, and this of course is for the uh, Golden Frieza and Sorbet. And we also have Stage 64 of Super Battle Road, uh, Giant Ape Power Only, dropping on the 19th. So there we go, regular Super Battle Road stage. And we have two new stages for Ultimate Red Zone, and this is where we finally fight Gamma 1 and 2, and also Cell Max. So this is the one for the Gammas, on top of that little like hill mountain kind of thing. And then we have, uh, of course, the Cell Max uh, map right there. And also a new Explosive Chain Battle. Gotta say, not my favorite event, as you guys probably know, but... Um, I do really like the art for this Gamma, uh, Gamma 2. Uh, he looks really dope. This could be like the card art for a standalone like LR or TUR um, Gamma 2, honestly. So uh, yeah, great looking art. Obviously the event is going to be basically the same as always, which is not great, but uh, at least the boss looks really cool this time. So there you go, Gamma 2 Explosive Chain Battle uh, dropping on the 16th as well, so in about two days. And then we also have um, the 17th Peton Battle. 17th Peton Battle dropping on the 23rd, uh, Series 8 and 9 pack right there, along with uh, some World Tournament promo banners, which is standard for all the World Tournaments. Um, we have another World Tournament banner right there. A legendary summon ticket which is the one you can purchase uh, for the golden Frieza banner and uh, also a wallpaper this is of course the poster movie poster essentially for the superhero movie and uh, also some new skill orbs we got some dual skill orbs right here um, we got like crit and super attack uh, attack boost and super attack and so on and so forth <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, then we have some more skill orbs right here. So there you go. Always enjoy those. Well, wow, that's a lot of skill orbs, actually. Okay, you guys can take a look. Um, I always enjoy these like double effect uh, skill orbs, obviously, because, you know, they give you two different effects, right? So, of course, the best one here is probably the dodge and crit, although uh, these ones aren't, you know, bad either. So yeah, new skill orbs, I'm assuming that they'll be obtainable from the uh, treasure chest for the new chain battle boss. And then uh, some new My Data Achievement assets as well. So these look like titles. Um, oh, these are for, these are for like people that place in like the top like 50, top 10 or number one, right, for the world tournament. So uh, most of us will probably never see these titles and I think this one is for I don't remember exactly actually but it's nice it's nice so yeah some new title uh, backgrounds for my data and I guess that's pretty much it guys that was the data download quite a few assets uh, in here for sure and um, yeah thank you to Proton for posting everything of course this video would not be possible without him so make sure you go follow him now before we go i want to quickly go over the details for a few of the uh, extremes the awakenings starting with the super saiyan teen gohan from the superhero movie so with his extremes the awakening his leader skill becomes bond of master and disciple key plus three hp attack and defense plus 77 percent or agl types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And then passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 158%, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack once only. And all attacks become critical hits for one turn from start of turn. So basically, it looks like the, um, you know, first turn that he appears, he gets guaranteed crits. And then plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to 58%. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 58%.
Oh wait, okay, yeah, I got confused. I was like, those are the same thing. No, this is for attack performed, so including normals. So yeah, you'll get the full 58% here and the full 58% here with uh, three super attacks launched, right? And then uh, chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% starting from character's next attacking turn after the character performs the third super attack in battle. Uh, plus an additional defense plus 58% and medium chance of launching an additional super attack when there is an android category enemy. And as far as the stats go, he will get 12,094 HP, 13,471 attack, and 8,294 defense, which is not bad. So, yeah, I gotta say, man, for a free-to-play unit, he's looking very, very strong. If you guys need someone to fill out your uh, superheroes team or uh, movie heroes team or, you know, like Hyper Saiyan, something like that, uh, he's a pretty good option. He's a pretty good option because uh, just based on the boosts he's getting on his passive, he should be doing some pretty good damage and, you know, getting some pretty good defense, you know? So, um, yeah, I really like what I see from this uh, Teen Gohan, <laughs> Extreme Z Awakening. And from there, we have the Sorbet and Golden Frieza. Leader skill, joint forces, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Raises extreme class allies attack and defense by 20% for one turn. And passive is attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% for 7 turns from start of turn. And defense plus 100% starting from the 8th turn. E plus 6 performs a critical hit, critical hit and stuns the attacked enemy within the same turn after receiving an attack, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 50% or less. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. He's going to be pretty good on Super Battle Road, especially because of the um, guaranteed stuns. And of course, with the 50% damage reduction, um, he's going to be very tanky. Of course, you only get that when... You're below 50% HP, which um, is not ideal. Let me check if he had that before. Uh, okay, so before it was 49% or less, so now it's 50%. So they increased the limit by 1%, which uh, is definitely an improvement. It's definitely an improvement, but not by much. Uh, but overall, you know, he, he looks decent. He definitely can have some good utility especially with the stuns on super battle road so that's kind of where i see him being the most effective and uh stat wise 13,305 hp 13,163 attack and 9,163 defense so that is the frieza and sorbet and lastly we have this grandpa gohan so leader skill sdr type to keep plus three hp attack and defense plus 77 percent super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers attack and passive is key plus 3, attack plus 100% and defense plus 150% plus an additional defense plus 100% and all allies attack and defense plus 20% when there is another Goku's family category ally on the team plus an additional attack plus 50% and all allies attack and defense plus 20% when there is an ally whose name includes um, Goku youth attacking in the same turn. Attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed and a high chance of guarding all attacks when HP is 58% or less. Okay, so if this was just, you know, high chance to guard, uh, period, or, uh, you know, guaranteed guard when HP is 58% or less, this would have been a much, much better unit, but nonetheless, he's still pretty solid. He's still pretty solid. I mean... With all these like strike event uh, units, you know, with their extremes, the awakenings and awakenings, um, they're all quite good. None of them have really like blown me away, you know, like none of them have seen like really uh, crazy or anything like that. But they've all been like good filler units for sure for the categories that they fit into, right? So, for example, like this guy, uh, if you need like a DB Saga or Goku's Family Filler or you know one of these categories, he does fit into a lot of categories, which is which is great, right? So, um, not a bad option. So, there you have it. That is the Grandpa Gohan, and he's you know getting similar stats to the other guys: fifteen thousand eight hundred and forty 
7 HP, 13,918 attack, and 9,700, sorry, 9,077 defense. So, there is the Grandpa Gohan with his Extreme Z Awakening, and that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Once again, big, big shout out to uh, Proton. I know I've said this three times now, but I want you guys to know that he's awesome and he deserves your follow, so definitely. Go over to Twitter, hit my boy up with a follow, and uh, that's going to do it, guys. That is the video. That is your data download breakdown. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.